Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying our Spark interview question series. Please subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends also. I'm back with one more Spark interview question. Today's interview question is what is the difference between Avro and Parquet file? So this is actually a very important interview question. Uh, normally when you are developing your uh, big data application on Hadoop cluster or uh, if you're using specifically if you're using Cloudera distribution of Hadoop uh, you might have uh, faced the situation where in your project there is a need to select between Avro format and Parquet format so uh, I'm going to answer this question more from uh, interview point of view uh, you know th the things that I'm going to say will be applicable in choosing between Avro and Parquet but uh, I would like to you know uh, I, I would like to prefer making a bigger video which will cover exact difference uh, between choosing uh, Avro and Parquet so but this in a video will be more focused on uh, having interview uh, kind of scenario where a person is asking you what is the difference between every form Avro format and Parquet format so let us start with the answer so uh, let us first understand that uh, where these formats came from what was the inspiration inspiration uh, behind these formats so Avro uh, was designed from a need where uh, you know uh, people want to have wanted to have a Hadoop format Hadoop file format which was uh, which could be used with multiple languages so uh, Hadoop Hadoop was uh, earlier using uh, still it uses writables you know you might have heard about Hadoop writables so uh, a big data community wanted a format which can be interchangeably used with Hadoop and with other projects so and they wanted lot of conveniences like uh, uh, you know they wanted to make sure that it could it, if anybody wants to change the schema of the file uh, they can very easily change it. it it should automatically evolve the schema uh, and they wanted to make it distributed format uh, so these were the basic uh, high level requirements when Avro was designed so Avro is a row format you know if you might have read about it in 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 uh, on any of the internet uh, page or any of the Apache Avro uh, site also Avro is a row based format when I say row based format I mean that you have to if you are reading data from Avro file you have to read the whole file ho whole row you cannot uh, you know uh, read only few columns and uh, you know uh, ignore all other columns you can do that logically but uh, uh, to select columns out of the whole row you have to read the whole row you cannot uh, only select few parts of the row you have to read the it's a row format you have to read the whole row to make an interpretation out of the data uh, and Parquet on the other side Parquet was inspired from uh, Google Dremel page uh, paper so Google had a have a framework called Dremel uh, which they use for querying data on Google file system Google file system had inspired HDFS so Parquet was uh, uh, inspired from Dremel paper uh, it is a col columnar format so basically um, you know if you want if you have a file uh, and every row of that file has uh, uh, you know if uh, has thousands of columns uh, if you have data which has thousands of columns uh, and your usage pattern is like that you want to select only few columns out of those thousand columns you normally you don't end up using all those thousand columns for your processing uh, you only select few columns out of your uh, whole data so in those scenarios using Parquet makes more sense because it is columnar format uh, all the data which belong to same column are stored together and uh, data of a row if you want to read a complete row you may have to uh, read multiple files multiple parts or you can say you may have to go to multiple machines in some situations so uh, uh, so 
Parquet is better when you want to select only few columns out of uh, data set which has huge number of columns. Avro is better when you are going to read the uh, complete row, when you want to read complete row and uh, it's a scan kind of operation. So uh, that's what is the difference between Parquet and Avro. Avro is a row based format, Parquet is a column based format. So Avro is better when it comes to schema evolution. So Avro maintains uh, within the blocks, Avro maintains the uh, schema that how, what are the columns, what are the types and it maintains a separate schema file also. So if you, uh, if you want to add a new column, you can just add uh, uh, the metadata in the separate schema file. So while reading uh, data from the block, it will it, it will be automatically handled. It can uh, as part of uh, you know reading data from Avro file. So in Parquet, uh, schema evolution is not as easy as you know in case of Avro. So Parquet is more designed for uh, faster queries and uh, columnar uh, kind of access on the data. Okay, so this is what is uh, the difference between Avro and Parquet. One more thing I wanted to add was that Parquet is more, uh, if, if you have any compression kind of need, Parquet can be better because uh, in using Parquet you can take homo uh, homogeneity uh, advantage of like within a column you expect the data to be very similar, right? So if it is a categorical column, if, if the type of uh, the data that a column contains is categorical data there will be uh, there will be very few uh, distinct values in that column so you can take into advantage the categorical uh, take into advantage of uh, uh, compression on that particular thing and the space that parquet will consume to store the same data will be very less as compared to avro so these are the some of advantages of uh, uh, using parquet and uh, these are the differences between Avro and Parquet. I hope this video was useful. Please post your questions uh, if you have any doubts. Uh, I'll be very happy to answer those. And please uh, subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends. Thank you.